Hello my lovely Libras. This is your astrology forecast for June and also applies if you're Libra rising or Libra moon. And the first thing to tell you is that Mercury, the planet of transportation, communications, technology, is going retrograde on the 7th of the month until the 2nd of July. Now from the 7th to the 18th of June, Mercury is retrograde here in your 10th house of career work. So I think that with Jupiter there as well, because Jupiter always magnifies whatever it's close to. So it can magnify for the better or it can magnify for the worse. But for you here, Libras, this is going to be um, perhaps a re-evaluation of your career direction. Where do you want to move? Maybe there's been a new opportunity or something's come up um, and you're not sure about it. I know Libras, you do see the world in a grey, so maybe this, maybe that. And this Mercury retrograde here will give you a little bit of time to regroup and reassess the direction that your career or your work is going in. And also this feeling of like, um, what am I doing in the world? Certainly with the Grand Cross here uh, deeply affecting you on the angles of the chart. The angles of the chart are these 1st, 4th, 7th and 10th houses. And then this Mercury retrograde here for these first 11 days of the retrograde. Um, it's really important for you to take some time out, out of your busy mind, to really reassess and reevaluate where you want to take your career. After the 18th of the month, Libras, it goes into your ninth house here, and um, a good time to reevaluate your educational skills. Is there anything you need to learn? I mean, technology is moving forward so quickly. I think all of us have to keep learning more on a daily basis, but what do you need to learn that will help you um, get to where you want to go. It's a good time for setting goals, good time for learning a language, good time for getting that book written, um, a very good time for approaching publishers, if that's the kind of thing you want to do, and also a good time for thinking about where you'd like to travel, who you'd like to connect with, um, and spiritually, your spiritual journey. Where are you going? Where is it um, what are the new things that you want to learn about? Because Libras, you're an air sign, you constantly want to learn new things. And this is what I think this Mercury retrograde is going to help you to do. Now on the 13th of June, we have a full moon in lively Sagittarius here in your third house. And this full moon here is triggering um, anything connected with transportation. I would suggest that you do leave extra time if you're traveling because it's going to be um, opposite to the Mercury retrograde or Mercury is just about coming retrograde when this full moon is, is happening. It's on its way. It's also a wonderful time, as I said earlier, for signing up for a course, enrolling on something new. It's shining a light on your social circle. You might want to get out and about with friends, invite friends um, to an event. Um, anyway, very good for networking, sharing information. Libra again, as an air sign, you're good at sharing information. What is it you want to teach? What are you excited about? What do you want to write about? What do you want to do videos about? All these things are well aspected during this full moon in Sagittarius. So for the first three weeks of the month, we've got the sun in the ninth house shining a light on um, your beliefs. If, if money isn't moving forward in the way that you want it to, do you need to change some of your beliefs? Do you believe that you've got to work really hard and it's hard and it's unpleasant earning money? What, what are the things that maybe need to change? And this sun is going to help you there. And also a wonderful time for going away, going abroad to another country and going somewhere you've never been to before and having an adventure. It's very adventurous this month with this uh, full moon as well in Sagittarius. Then <clears throat> after the 22nd, the sun moves into your 10th house, shining a light along with Jupiter on your career, bringing maybe some new opportunities there, an opportunity for promotion or an opportunity to just expand maybe into a new field, something that you feel passionate about. 
and for the first uh, 23 days of the month we've got Venus in your eighth house this could certainly bring some intimacy a deep connection with somebody um, a real feeling of a bond um, maybe taking a relationship that you have and taking it to a deeper level could be sexually but also could be a more intimate level where you trust somebody more you feel that it's time this Venus also could bring you money from somebody else or from an authority, it could be a grant or a scholarship or an inheritance, but money coming through the help of somebody else. The 24th of June, this Venus comes into your ninth house. This could bring an exciting foreigner into your life, it could be a romance, it could be also a wonderful trip that you plan, that you take, that you go on during this summer time. But certainly Venus here is a wonderful time for anything connected with international affairs, international business, uh, meeting people, connecting people with, from different places. And maybe even from outer space and aliens and for those of you that are interested in that as well. Now, on the, between the 25th and 28th of June, we do have an exact opposition of Mars and Uranus. It only happens every couple of years. But this is a powerful opposition and Libras, as much as you don't like conflict, there could still be something that comes up that really gets your goat and you think, Wah! and just make sure you don't act too quickly and then regret it afterwards. I don't think as Librans most of you will, but nonetheless Mars in the first house, this is time to be more assertive, it is direct now, and the Uranus could just be something out of the blue that just gives you a surprise and a jolt. So I would say it's only three days, try to ride it out. Because in the midst of those days, on the 27th of June, we've got a lovely new moon in Cancer, also happening in this 10th house, a lot happening in the 10th house. So Libra's really important time, new beginnings for a new career. This also with the new moon here could take you into the public eye. If you want to get a message across that's important to you, this could be very helpful to you. And the new moon generally at the top of the chart is um, a good time to connect with people who could be influential for you who could make a difference. So lots of new beginnings as far as your career and the things that you're wanting out in the world are concerned. I know there's a lot of change happening in the home area as well. And I know that the Cardinal Cross is still affecting you, Libra. However, next month, Jupiter changes sign. It's going to take some of the pressure away from the Cardinal Cross. Not all of it, but certainly there will be some relief more of which next month. So thank you very much for sharing, for commenting, for subscribing. You might want to sign up for my free newsletter. And of course, if you'd like to come for a reading, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.